Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today's is simple. We just get to see some crazy looking fish. So let's take a look at some amazing African cichlids. So some of you may have already realized from the title, but this is a revisit to Adam Cichlids. I met Adam in person at the OCA Extravaganza 2018, and we've since stayed in contact, so... Just thought I'd bring you another video of all the stuff he's got going on, and he's definitely added to his collection since we last checked his ever-expanding breeding operation out. So here we've got his show tank, bunch of dragon bloods, some electric blue alleys, a deep water harp, a Placidochroma star sapphire that's really been chipping up recently. He's also got some of his grow outs in there, such as his Eureka line, and he's also got this blue neon under reef wild caught male that he actually got at the OCA extravaganza, along with tons of other fish that he got at the show at the same time. So let's start taking a look at his breeding groups. And the first one we're going to look at is Adam's young albino dragonblood group. And the main male for his size is looking stunning. Adam says he's about three inches right now. And the group's in a 29 gallon tank, which is being filtered by a box filter, a standard four and a half inch sponge filter, and then a AquaClear 30 by the looks of it. The heater in the tank is an AquaTop, similar to the one that I use on my 10 gallon tank. And the male is looking pretty nice. Got some females in there with him. Ratio one to three, one to four. And as you can see there, there's already some fry on the way from this young albino dragon blood group. So the next group that we're gonna look at is this split gene Eureka Red group that Adam on Instagram is pretty famous for. And this is the main breeder male which is in a 60 gallon tank with a bunch of females. So I'll just let you take a look at this stud while he's nice and fired up. So as a continuation of that line, we've now got the third generation of split gene Eurekas. And Adam says this guy is about 1.5 inch and look at that coloration and that finish coming in on him. Absolutely unreal. That's a little marina breeder box that comes in really useful when you're breeding if you want to separate fish. And here we've got a 55 gallon full of split gene Eurekas and there's his second male that he's currently using. As you can see, Adam puts a lot of emphasis on filtration and in this 55 gallon alone, he's got a box filter, a four or 0.5 inch sponge filter, and then a hang on the back that is a Seachem Tidal. So the next breeding group that we're looking at is Albino Eureka Reds. And this guy isn't too bad either. Again, really, really showing off the finage that is prevalent with the Jacob Freiburgi variant. And this group is in a 55 gallon acrylic tank where Adam's using the box filters or sponge filters again as filtration. And the main male is pretty fired up right now and seems to be wanting to breed with some females in there. So I presume some of them are pretty close to holding eggs and some of them may be already. So the next group that we're gonna take a look at is this Malarai Sunshine group. And the male here is only young, but absolutely stunning. The body shape, the finage, 
really, really looking good. And I know that Adam's worked really hard on making this group what it is today in terms of the coloration and the body shape. As you can see, this tank again is being filtered by a sponge filter and is a bare bottom tank, simply meaning that there's no substrate. This just helps when collecting detritus and uneaten food off the bottom and also makes cleaning a little bit easier as you don't need to gravel vac any substrate. And if you do water changes frequently and happen to find a time where there's not much detritus on the bottom, you can just simply throw a pump in there, drain the tank halfway and fill it back up. So anyway, guys, that's the Malawi Sunshine Group. And here we've got a 20 long, two sponge filters and some Malawi Sunshine grow outs. And these guys look to be putting on some size. In this tank, a lot of these fish Adam buys personally, either off Facebook groups or certain contacts that he's got in the hobby. But I know for a fact that he got a lot of them at the OCA Extravaganza, because I saw him carrying around some huge boxes. And for right now, all he's doing with these fish is just growing them out. I know he's potentially wanting to start some groups from these fish, but obviously it depends on how they progress. But there's some nice males in there that are looking really good. Here, we've got one of my favorite groups of Adams, which is a white knight fryer eye group. And the males here just look unbelievable. This tank is a 20 high where we've got two sponge filters. Again, no substrate, just makes cleaning a little easier. But oh my Lord, the two males that he's got in there, unbelievable. If you ever want to get rid of the one of the males, Adam, feel free to hit me up. I'll uh, I'll take one of them off your hands. Don't don't worry about that. If you're struggling for space, I can I can take one of them. Just uh, let me know, and um, I can always come get one from you and help you out if you need it. In <laughs> in this tank, we've got some albino malarai that are growing out, and Adam again is just growing these out. I believe this looks like a ten gallon, just to see what the turn out like if he wants to breed them he can breed them if he wants to sell them at any point he can sell them but that's kind of the cool thing about buying them young you get to see them progress and really color up which i enjoy doing and by the looks of it i think he enjoys doing as well this tank filtered by two sponge filters and then there's a nice little heater in the bottom of the tank here we've got some red empress and albino sunshines growing out and that guy is looking pretty nice. Should definitely breed him. But I'll now leave you with Adam, who's going to take over and show you the rest of his groups. With one tank being a 125 gallon with a bunch of grow outs in, which is really, really cool. So make sure you stay tuned. Got some albino Malari sunshine. There's the first male to color up right there. Starting to get some nice yellow and blue on the dorsal. I got that golden yellow in the body and you can see the tail fins starting. This one might be a male as well. Got a albino ruby red male. who is actually for a buddy of mine. He's going with a breeding group that I'll show you in a second. In the middle of some water changes here. Uh, ran out of hot water, so we're just kind of chilling. Yeah, this little albino ruby red is quite the little Quite the little stud. Over here we've got some Placidochromis Deepwater Hap Electra. There's a nice male right there. Bought these guys at the OCA Extravaganza in November at about an inch. The guy's about two inch now and he's starting to look good. Of course, I got some Lanakara Sunshine Malari Island. There's a nice male right there. These are from my breeders. This is a six foot 125. Got two XL sponge filters, regular four and a half inch in diameter sponge filter. FX5 with lava rocks and sponges. And an Aqua Clear 70. We've also got some Placidochromis. Madoka White Lips, two of the big ones that I believe are males, about an inch and a half. Uh, the rest of them are in a tank that I'll show you in a second. 
in here, this tank. We got some Alanakar Turkis. As you can see right there, here. We have some Alanakar Mylandi. There is the biggest one right there that I think might be a male. These guys are all about inch and a half. And one lone Placidochromus Deepwater Hap Electra. These small little runts, I left them in this 20 long. Moving over here to the 40 gallon. We got some F2 Taiwan Reef, Higa Reef. That is definitely a male there. He's about two and a half inches. He's starting to look good. Here is some albino Banga Sunshine. So we got the Banga and we also got the Malari. And here's a rubescence female who's holding, but obviously with a mixed tank, we don't know who, so we're gonna leave her in there. There's another one of my Benga albino. Here's a albino ruby red, part of the breeding group. Some of the females. Um, there's another ruby red male in here that looks starting to look good. There we go. Uh, we got some Protomelis tanulatus red empress, and these are the Namalenje. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And we got some F2 Banga Sunshines. We're going to be breeding them with the albinos. This one ended up being a male. That's all right. Um, we've got another Banga male in here somewhere. Here he is. This is probably the nicest one. I just did a water change, so they're a little colored down, but he's looking pretty good lately. And I'll second that, he is looking pretty good. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of Adam Cichlids. If you've got any questions, make sure you ask them down below. I'm sure Adam will be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And from me, thanks a lot for watching, subscribing, commenting, and all the other good stuff you do. We'll see you on the next one.